on the left side. Krasova, chance, and goes through the five hole, and Krasova gives the Whitecaps a three goal lead. Nice hustle by Krasova to get to this puck, and that's a tough situation for Burt. If that puck was a little bit closer to her, she maybe comes out and tries to poke check that away or make it a tough battle there for Krasova, but it doesn't get to the hash mark, so Burt just hangs out in the net and waits for the impending opportunity, and Krasova is able to just... And Boston, that last look, it was 2-2 two two between Toronto and the Riveters in the other game going on. That one surprises and goes in. How? Does it matter how? That. Deflected a couple of different ways and Rice and never saw it go in. That was a great big play by that line. I said it, that line of Fleming, Snodgrass, and Khrushchev needed to get something going. And that's that early start to the period. Rhonda Engelhart talked about earlier this week in our press conference with her and what a nice little bounce Khrushcheva gets on that on that shot on that. Khrushcheva's second goal on the season, eighth in PHF. Nothing that Rysonen could do, but look at the roof of this brand new building here. For right. Stick save made there by Brenneman. And that puck is flipped all the way up the ice and all the way from one end to the other. And Empty net goal for Minnesota. It was like there was a magnet in the back of the net just pulling that puck down the ice. She absolutely nailed that and made no mistake on that one. That'll be the icing on the cake likely here for the Minnesota Whitecaps with only a minute 33 left to play. Krishava uh, just threw that one up in the air. Why not? Just Why throw not? it to the net. Yep. Oh. That's a heartbreaker for Buffalo. I mean. They could have held it inside the offensive zone, but smart move there. You just got to clear it up the ice. Pass sharp back into the, the slot area again. Fleming back in it. Feel the right hand side, and they score. Krizova going top shelf on a beautiful pass from Fleming, and it's one to nothing, Minnesota. And you see, once again, Minnesota with just great passing. And there have been times early in this season where I thought that the finish wasn't quite there. Lots of players, including Denisa Krisova here, making individual plays. But this is just good pass, great finish. And that's what has been missing too often for Minnesota. But they get on the board first here. Just a great, great. Now brought. Nice move there by Brat. Throws that one toward the net. A rebound and Krisova puts the Whitecaps up 3-1 with just under three to go. Denisa Krisova, one of the Czech players here in the PHF. Olympian gets it done for the Whitecaps. You see that this is just another opportunity where it's a rebound chance, and we were just talking about it, Kelly. Minnesota has been bringing numbers forward, and even though you see that they tie up Brickalik, who is right there on the doorstep as well, Kelly, they did not mark Krishova. And here's a steal. Zova, and it deflects off the post and in. Team World with a couple of goals late, and they've got a two to one lead on Canada. And the sticks on the helmets again. Schroeder gets beat here on a deflected puck. And we're gonna need some magic from Team Canada in the last 62 seconds here if we wanna see another shootout. Krizova comes off the wall with it and deflects it off of the knee there of Soroya Tinker. Tinker just trying to get down and block the shots, and unfortunately it deflects into her own net. Schroeder not able to get in front of that one, and it just barely snuck in, too. But this isn't horseshoes, Goldie. This is the all-